Wait, 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 wait. Before you go down to the comment section, tell me how wrong and crazy I really am. Just, just hear me out because I, I, I think I have a point. Weapon tricks might actually be able to help you become a better fighter. Alright, for those of you that don't know, martial arts weapon tricking is a form of creative um, showing off basically with martial arts weapons like swords, bow staff, commas, nunchucks. Basically, if it's a weapon, you can do tricks with it if you're creative enough. I think it is a great thing that you can do to kind of further your progression and understanding of martial arts as a whole and whatever particular weapon you are using. Now back to the point I made earlier, they're not directly correlated with combat. You're not going to throw a sword in the air and expect it to hit somebody. That's not really what you're going for. But it does teach you a very important lesson that can be applied to combat material just as easily. And that important lesson is being in control of your weapon and being comfortable using your weapon. Now, a sword, a bow staff, whatever you choose to use as a combat weapon or a tricking weapon needs to be part of you. It needs to be part of your body, an extension of your body. And you need to be comfortable just like it is part of you when using it. You don't second guess your arm when you throw a punch, so you shouldn't second guess your weapon. And tricking will allow you to experiment with your weapon and test out your weapon in ways that traditional fighting just doesn't make you go through. It allows you to learn things like the balance and how your weapon is balanced, where the center point is, all the little nooks and crannies and imperfections in whatever weapon you are using. And so you can take that knowledge, let's say you're using a bow staff and it has a balance that's just a little bit off center because of a, cr of a uh, crack or a little notch in the bow staff on one of the ends. Doing weapon tricks and learning how it spins, learning how it throws, learning how it does all of that stuff will help you know your weapon like the back of your hand. Just stick with me, kid. I know this town like the back of my hand. Hey, that's new. It's actually why I try to use the same weapons for a very long amount of time without changing them out and uh, swapping weapons. At least very often. I don't switch it out very often. And when you take that skill, when you take that knowledge of your weapon and apply it to combat, it just enhances the techniques that you've already been working on. It enhances the fact that you know exactly how your bow staff is, how your sword is without having to look at it, without having to look down your weapon to make sure you know how it's going to work for you, you know where the balance is. It's all natural, it's all automatic, it has become a part of your body. And when it becomes a part of your body, using it as an extension of your body becomes fluid and seamless and will make your combat that much more effective. Now of course not many people carry around swords with them while they're, you know, in the subway just so they can stop a random fight. Certainly found him and when that fight broke out he was ready for it with his trusty katana. So this also allows a use in the modern era for your weapons. This allows you to have a use for um, your sword other than you know, training with it with things that you would never use for any situation. Like, you're never gonna fight somebody sword to sword. That doesn't happen anymore, in America at least. And I, I can't speak for other countries, but where I live, you don't just see two people fighting in the street with a sword just, you know, every day. And so learning weapon tricks allows you to do something that you can show off, you can um, do things with, you can go on stage if you wanted to, you can go and perform in uh, movies and stuff like that. There are, there are ways and uses for it in the real world and that's why I suggest people to try it out. Now if you are new to what I call XMA or weapon tricking, then I have a bunch of videos all over different types of stuff, whether you want to learn bow staff, nunchucks, commas, size, um, sword. And if I haven't covered it, you just let me know and I will get right on it. And if I haven't covered that weapon, then let me know because that means it's a weapon I need to work to on getting. Now, because of the creative aspect, you can technically start on whatever weapon you really want to. It doesn't really matter. It is, in fact, up to you what weapon you start with. But I do have some suggestions. Sword is a dangerous weapon. Even dull swords like the one I use for tricking, it is not meant 
for beginners. Sword is just one of those things where, especially when you're tossing it and spinning it around, you can hurt yourself. If it's going fast enough, it can still cut you, it can still stab you, it can still hurt. So my suggestion would be to go for something that is a little bit more versatile, a little bit more easy to come by, and a little bit more easy to learn. What I suggest is the bow staff. The bow staff gives you the base for basically every other uh, martial arts weapon tricks in existence other than things like chain whipping and I guess nunchuck would fall into there too. Bow staff techniques will allow you to go and transfer into short stick techniques or scream stick techniques however you want to call it and then transfer that into sword and double sword or alternatively you can transfer that short stick techniques into comma techniques or side techniques. Bow staff is a great way to get your feet wet in weapon tricks as a whole and then angle it and transfer it to other weapons depending on what you want to learn so thank you guys for hearing me out if you agree with me think i have a point definitely let me know down in the comments if you think i am still dead wrong and weapon tricking has zero use and it's stupid then tell me that too i want to hear what you guys think if you like this video leave a like if you did not like it leave a dislike let me know what you guys think about this video let me know if you want to see uh, my opinion on other controversial topics like this one but just remember this is my opinion so if you don't agree you are entitled to not agree with what I think guys don't forget to do all the YouTube stuff like subscribe comment all that fun stuff because it's it's super it's a super big help to me and it helps my channel grow which I wanted to grow I wanted to get as big as possible and reach as many people as I can because I love doing this and I want to be able to do it for a long time and if you want input on some other controversial topics with arguments that you've had or ideas that you've had or things you think I'm wrong about definitely join my discord because we can talk about it and if it's a really good subject and starts a real conversation we can make a video about it so if that interests you definitely let me know down below uh, links to my discord are also down below but until next time my name is DJ Moore this is the modern ninja and I'm out <laughs>